Well guys, in this video you're going to see my Traxxas Fortec 2.0 VXL speed run car. It does not go exactly as planned. I replaced the optional Vatera shocks that I fitted at the back which had lowered the whole thing down and I put the original Traxxas ones on the back, thus raising the, the back of the car up in the air. Thought that that would run absolutely fine and kept the lower Vatera ones on the front. It did not go absolutely fine at all. The car still wanted to flip. So since filming what you're about to see, I fitted the original Traxxas shocks back on there. So it's now running the original ride out, the setup that I had where it wasn't blowing over whatsoever. In this video, first of all, you're gonna see it running with the my so-called speed run body. Still getting a problem with it blowing over though. Not convinced it's the body, more thinking it's the suspension setup because in the second part of the video, I run it with my original Aston Martin body on, which it just hasn't blown over with uh, at all in the uh, recent months on there. And yet, bang, the car blows over with that front suspension being set up lower down. So I've raised the whole thing back up in the air. And you also see, the, at the end of this video, the reason why I fitted new foam tyres all round to this car. Because it does not exactly end well for the foam tyres. And I think this thing should be pretty dialed in now. So I'm going to, so by the time you're watching this, I'll probably be out filming again in the dry. Anyway guys, any comments or questions you might have in the car or at speed run setup, then please fire away. Okay, okay yeah, go. I was probably going a bit quicker than that when it went over. <laughs> Okay. Right, on it. Yeah. Clear. Thanks. <laughs> what did it get? Seventy-eight on there. Yeah. That's right about when it took I, flight. Yeah. Well, guys, following that tumble. I am taking off my new shocks, putting back on uh, the older front shocks on there to get that ride out because I've not been suffering any problems in the past with this car blowing over. So it's definitely something to do with that front being too low, maybe the air pressure is building up a little bit too much under here or just on that front edge there. But certainly with that riding a little bit higher, I've not been actually having blowover problems in the past. Uh, tires at the back, uh, that's obviously going to need a new foam. The wheel. As you might have seen from that earlier shot, is uh, simply snapped in half on there. So uh, that's definitely going to need new foam. Uh, the, and the rear tire on that side also had a big chunk taken out of it when tumbling. Rear drive shaft's actually popped out again on that side. I'm going to readjust the suspension to the original setup because I've never had these drive shafts pop out even after a tumble uh, before. But the other day when I fitted the new shocks on, uh, and the setup, I adjusted the suspension uh, to put the suspension outwards because with the new, with them sitting lower, they pulled the wheel in too far. But so I loosened the uh, the little tie rods here off. But I'm now going to tighten them back in again because not only it dropped the tie rod that side, I've also noticed it's dropped the tie rod. Uh, sorry, it's dropped the drive shaft rather that side and this side as well. It's all snapped the tie rod on there. That's not too bad overall. So uh, time to get to work on that and I fit new, f uh, time to get to work on that and get some new parts on orders. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to it.